Uh, have you ever wondered what it would be like to live on Mars? Picture it, a world roughly half the size of Earth, located an average of 140 million miles away from our blue home. Mars, often referred to as the Red Planet, owes its rusty hue to the iron oxide or rust that blankets its surface. This gives it a distinctive reddish appearance when viewed from space, hence the crimson nickname. Its terrain is diverse, featuring the tallest volcano and the deepest, longest canyon in the solar system. But it's not just Mars' unique geography that captures our imagination. There's something about its harsh, alien landscape that draws us in, compelling us to imagine a future where humans might call this distant planet home. Despite its harsh conditions, Mars has always intrigued humans, and the idea of colonizing this alien world is becoming more than just a sci-fi fantasy. But what would it take for humans to survive on Mars? Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is a world of stark beauty and deadly challenges. The thin Martian atmosphere, just 1% as dense as Earth's, holds barely enough oxygen to sustain microbial life, let alone human settlers. We'd need to solve this lack of breathable air, potentially through terraforming, a process of transforming Mars into an Earth-like planet, a concept straight out of the realm of science fiction. The temperature extremes on Mars are severe, swinging from a modest 20 degrees Celsius at the equator during midday to a frigid negative 130 degrees at night. To survive these extremes, settlers might need to build biodomes or live underground where temperatures are more stable. Then there's the harmful radiation. Mars' thin atmosphere and lack of a magnetic field mean the surface is bombarded with cosmic rays and solar radiation, which can damage DNA and increase the risk of cancer. Shielding habitats and suits from this radiation would be an essential part of any colonization effort. The low gravity on Mars, just over a third of Earth's, could also pose long-term health problems like muscle wasting and bone loss. We might need to develop artificial gravity technologies or adapt our bodies in ways we are yet to fully understand. And let's not forget the psychological challenges. Living in isolation, far from home, in confined spaces, with the same group of people could take a toll on mental health. The importance of psychological screenings, support, and potentially even the use of virtual reality for mental escapes cannot be understated. These challenges are formidable, it's true. The harsh conditions, the vast distance from Earth, the technological hurdles, they're all daunting. But they are not insurmountable. We've overcome incredible challenges before, from landing on the moon to developing vaccines for deadly diseases. Facing the challenges of Mars colonization tests the very limits of human ingenuity and resilience. But we're a species of explorers, innovators, problem solvers. These challenges are formidable, yet they are not stopping us from dreaming big and working hard to make those dreams a reality. So, are we ready to become Martians? In our quest to colonize the Red Planet, NASA and private companies like SpaceX are leading the charge. With their combined efforts, they're pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Rovers like Perseverance are already there, exploring the Martian surface, sending back invaluable data and paving the way for future manned missions. These ambitious plans are not just dreams, but are being fueled by rapid advancements in technology. Think of the leaps we've made in propulsion systems, life support systems, and even in the field of astrobiology. These breakthroughs are making the seemingly impossible possible. SpaceX is also setting sights on Mars with plans for manned missions in the not-too-distant future. Their Starship spacecraft, currently under development, aims to carry humans to the Martian surface and possibly even establish a self-sustaining colony. While the idea of living on Mars may still seem far-fetched, the wheels are in motion and the red horizon could soon be within our reach. Can Mars truly be our new frontier? We've delved into the heart of this question, examining the many challenges that Mars colonization presents. From the need for breathable air to the technological marvels required to transport us across the vastness of space, the hurdles are significant but not insurmountable. We've looked at the current efforts to conquer the Red Planet, with space agencies and private companies alike pushing the boundaries of what we once thought possible. The spirit of human exploration and innovation is alive and well in these endeavors. We've also pondered the potential future, a world where humans become interplanetary beings. 
The implications of such a reality are staggering, not just for our survival as a species, but for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Whether we become the first Martians or remain earthbound, one thing is certain, the red horizon beckons and humanity is eager to answer the call.